Hey YouTube, this is Karsten's XDM45 here making a video on some homemade bullet lube. I uh, saw a couple of videos on YouTube about trying to make your own bullet lube and make some forms so that you could put it inside of your uh, your lubricizer. I have a star sizer and so we're going to try to do that this evening uh, and this is what we're going to be using. I uh, saw this on a couple of videos here. What this is, this is the wax ring uh, when you install a new toilet. All right, this is just the just the wax wax ring. There's you can you can get them. They also have they'll have like an insert. They'll have a uh, a metal uh, ring inside of them. That's not the one you want. But we're gonna see how many sticks of lube we can make with this. About four of them. They were about they were a dollar ninety nine a piece. Uh, show you a couple of things that I bought. Okay, guess let me zoom out here. Uh, went ahead and got me a piece of PVC pipe, and it's this PVC pipe. The inside diameter is one inch, uh, the same as my uh, star sizer. So that's the same size. And then I've got the wooden dowel uh, back here. This this wooden dowel is one inch uh, in diameter. Um, you know, all the way across. And basically, I'm going to use that wooden dowel to push out the sticks of lube once they have uh, hardened. So I've got that. And I've seen the guys on the where they've used washers and a nail. Well, I've got the, the, the star sizer, and I don't have to have a hole in the middle of my uh, sticks of lube. So I wanted to find something uh, instead, of a, instead of a washer. I picked these up at Lowe's, and they are one inch. They're one inch little, uh, little wooden discs, and they fit really snug in that PVC pipe. Uh, what I'll probably do to keep it from leaking is I'll probably wrap this in a piece of wax paper, and then I'm going to put that in the, uh, the PVC pipe. This PVC pipe is, is 24 inches long. I want to make six. I want to cut it and make six uh, short little pieces of pipe. That way I can pour six at a time. Um, bought me a just a, a glass measuring cup and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to try heating it in the microwave. I'm going to cut this uh, this wax ring up and put it in here and we're going to put it in the microwave and see how that works. And then the last thing I bought, I bought a, a, a wood bit that's a one and a quarter. That one and a quarter is the, is the same size, that is the outside diameter of the PVC pipe. And I will, I'm going to, going to get me a piece of scrap lumber, probably a 2x4, and I'm going to drill some holes in it so I can set the pieces of PVC pipe uh, in it to be able to hold it. And I just wanted to show you real quick, this is how much, this is how much it run me. You're looking at $23.87. Now you need to understand that I bought five sticks of lube, uh, last time I, I did all my casting and by the time he had the tax and the shipping they come over a little over six dollars a stick so that's thirty bucks so I'm already ahead of the game by almost seven dollars we'll see uh, we're gonna try putting this together and see how she works and try to do a little video on it and maybe try to help some folks uh, maybe about be able to do it yourself and save some money be able to shoot a little bit more and a little update as you can tell, I've got the board. I've got holes drilled out in it. I use my pipe cutter, cut this PVC pipe up into four-inch sections. Uh, they fit very snug down those holes. They fit very snug down in there. I'm going to use a little bit of sandpaper and I'm going to kind of sand the ends so that they'll fit a little bit sn more snug. I uh, wanted to show you the. All right, here we go. We've got the uh, the block. I've got the holes cut in it. I've got the pieces of uh, pieces of PVC pipe. I got those cut. All right, we've got them. I use my pipe cutter, like you'd put, like you would uh, cut uh, tubing. My tubing cutter. I, I did this. Then what I did is I took. You can see that. I took that little that round uh, wooden disc. And I wrapped it in wax paper and shoved it up in the bottom. That makes it for a real tight fit. And then we'll have, that way, when I pour the the lube in it, it shouldn't leak anywhere. 
I'm going to spray the inside of it with some, uh, probably some case lube. Uh, I guess you could use maybe cooking spray or maybe some rim oil. But I'll try some case lube and we'll see how it works. Okay, YouTube, here we go. We've got all six of the, the, the molds. I've got them inserted in here. I've got the small uh, round disc put in the bottom. I've got it, it's really snug in there. I put the, the uh, wax paper around it so that should keep it from leaking. I'm going to use some, uh, I'm going to use some case lube and spray it on in there. All right, and then I've got two of those wax rings. I've got two of those in here and we're going to heat them up in the microwave and see what happens. Okay, after four minutes, it is just about liquefied. Uh, that's two of those rings put in there, and it looks like it's going to make, oh, one and a half cups of liquid. I'll put it on for a few more minutes so we can get it totally liquefied. Okay, after about six and a half minutes, everything is melted. I'm going to let it run for about another 45 seconds, and then we'll see if we can pour it into these molds. Okay, here we go. Two of those wax rings took about seven minutes, and now it is liquefied. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to uh, pour this. This looks like it's about one and a half cups of uh, of of the lube. I'm going to attempt to pour it into the molds and see what happens. Try to do the camera with one hand. Grab this with the other. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit in each one so that it can cool and it won't should help seal the bottom. I can tell you right now this is going to fill up maybe. Okay, here we go. I hope you can see this. Let's see if I can. There we go. Trying to do the camera. All right, we got one. Two. By the way, there was no smoke. Uh, very, very little odor. There's three. Cut. This glass thing's getting hot. I should have got my gloves for casting bullets. Right, got a little bit of solid still in the bottom. I'll stick that back on the microwave and we'll uh, melt that down. Give me just a minute. Okay, here we go. I've got six of them poured, and those two, uh, those two wax rings, they filled six of these I mean all the way up I had to keep going down the line and filling them but I did use everything that was in the that was in the glass it made approximately a cup and a half of uh, of liquid and so I'm gonna let these sit for just a little bit I might take them outside and put them in the refrigerator let them cool I'm probably gonna wait you know 30 minutes 45 minutes let them get hard and then we'll uh, we'll see if we can push them out with that dowel rod so uh, if this is all like the two wax rings, they were dollar ninety nine a piece. You're looking at four bucks, and if they made six of these, this is this lube. It's the same consistency. It feels the same consistency as the as the bullet lube I've been buying from Lyman, and so th I mean this should work good. This should work good. I've got six sticks here. If I was to buy six of those sticks from from Lyman, it'd cost me thirty six dollars. And I spent four bucks, so there's some savings there. Uh, let's get these cooled off in the refrigerator, and I'll be back at you in a little bit. All right, YouTube, here we go. It's been about 40 minutes. I actually went ahead and put the setup in the refrigerator, and they are. I mean, they're they're solid. You can see where the the tops of them where they kind of uh, shrank back down, kind of congealed. So. We're going to try to use the the wooden dowel rod here, and we're going to try to 
push these things out of here. All right, here we go, YouTube. I'm gonna get these things out of here. Of course, I've got the wax paper, as you can see. I've got the the wooden uh, uh, the wooden wafer in there. We're gonna put that right on top of the dowel. Look at that. Look at there. Wax paper comes right off. How about that? Let's try the next one. They're sliding right out. They're sliding right out. Of course, I used I used that case lube and sprayed some case lube in there. Look at that! I don't think I actually come up with a good idea this time. Down rod centered on there. We'll just slide right off. One. That's it. Look over here. I now have six sticks of bottle lube that I'm going to wrap with wax paper and put them up I think that's a real good idea real good idea this cost me four dollars if I'd have bought this online it would have cost me about thirty six dollars so there's some savings there on YouTube how to make your own bullet loop appreciate you watching well, there we go YouTube six sticks of bullet lube all wrapped up ready to go look like little pieces of candy if I'd have bought it online it'll cost me about thirty six dollars I spent four bucks I've got the, the other two rings I've got those melted down they're in the molds they're cooling off right now I'll have enough to last me uh, for quite some time uh, I'll only need to probably need to do this maybe once a year uh, very economical. Uh, I think it worked out really well. Appreciate you watching.